Welcome to another Demarcation Media LEGO Set Review. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the 2019 Spider-Man sets, the Spider-Man Bike Rescue. Alright, to start off, let's take a look at the box. It's branded as LEGO Spider-Man, it's not LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, it's LEGO Spider-Man. Which is kind of making people speculate that the Marvel Super Heroes line is over, but I don't think so. I just think they're bringing back the Spider-Man uh, specific theme. Um, I really like this box art with the big Spider-Man here. The, you know, the set is pictured pretty well. I like the Roxxon little reference in the background. The characters are down here and they're named, which is cool. The side has this Spider-Man, but I don't really feel like that fits. This Spider-Man to me looks more like the Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man and not the Amazing or Ultimate Spider-Man or whichever one this is. So that's kind of weird. The back, you go you get a look at the box. There's those new web accessories, which I'm excited to take a look at. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. There are two instruction booklets, which is a little strange to me because I feel like this set could have done with one. But, yeah, there, there's nothing too special. They're just instruction books. There's not even any interesting stuff in the back. To start off, the minifigures here is Miles Morales. And at first glance, this seems like the same Miles Morales that we got in, I think it was 2015. But there's actually been a few subtle but important updates. There is the 2015 version, there is the 2019 version. Out of the two, I think actually I like the new one better. The torso has kind of a more defined kind of V area, which is cool. Um, the muscle detail is actually simpler than on this guy, which I think also is cool. The more, the more simple it is, I think the better it looks, for Miles at least. Because Miles has a very simple suit. The black hands are a good update as well. Um, because in the comics and stuff, just the very tips of his fingers have red. So this looks cool, but I think it's too much red. The backs, not a huge update. The web lines on this one are a little bit more fine. The eyes are different. So yeah, there's the comparison. I think LEGO did a good job updating this figure. They didn't just give us a rehash of the previous one. I am a little disappointed that we didn't get the Into the Spider-Verse kind of spray-painted spider symbol version of Miles. I would have liked to see that. But for what they did here, I think it's actually really nice, and I was pleasantly surprised with the updates. Next up is Spider-Man himself in a new kind of classic comic outfit. And yes, I'm, we're so done with the old one. The old one is just too many of them, too many of them. But I'll give you a comparison. <clears throat> this is the one from the Sandman and Rhino supervillain team up with the dual molded legs. And you can see the updates are huge, huge, huge difference, huge difference. And it's a great update as well. The red torso is a good choice for this guy because it really makes the red stand out on here. The red is a little, you know, it's muted. It's almost almost on the orange side. The faces are different. You can obviously see that. The web lines here are kind of more, I think they're a dark red. So they don't stand out as harshly as on this guy. And... This this always just looks like a gross fat tick. And they change it on this one. It's not amazing, like on Miles. Miles has a great back spider. But this one is less like a fat tick and more like a sun, I guess. But yeah, great update. And I, I think this guy actually took a lot of inspiration from the Into the Spider-Verse look, because... That's just what it looks like to me. The eyes have a nice shiny rim to them, 
which is cool. I feel like this head could go on the Infinity War Iron Spider pretty well. Dual molded legs come pretty much on every version of this guy, except for just the one in the Junior set, which is great. Yeah, this is excellent figure. I'm really glad Lego retired the old version of Spider-Man. I feel like we're probably going to be sick of this one eventually, but for now, I'm really excited to add this dude to my collection. Last but not least, we have the new Carnage figure, and I don't know, I'm kind of undecided about this guy. I don't know whether he's better or worse than the old one. Here is the old one. Now, one thing the old one has over the new one is arm printing, obviously. Arm printing would have been nice to see on the new version, but with the old version, it was just black lines. And now on this guy, you can see there's some orange in the face. The eyes have more depth. Um, so I'm, I'm very undecided. This one looks more like slimy, and this one looks almost like the, the lines look almost almost like cracks or something. See the difference there? Very large difference. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want to take a second and drop a comment down below, which one you think is better. The tendril kind of backpack for this guy is definitely better. So let me show you what they look like with their tendril packs on. So yeah, there's the tendril pack things. And this one's huge. It's huge, and it makes use of one of those new like clip pack pieces that were introduced in the Infinity War uh, wave. And that gives it a lot of posability. You can move them back and forth. You can kind of make them go down. You can twirl the edges around. So that's really cool. This guy's is creepy looking. Come on, stand up. But for one thing, it wants to shove him over because the vine pieces are kind of springy. And they're small. They're very small. So I definitely like the new pack for sure. And I like the posability that it has. I mean, seriously, I can't even get this guy to stand up with his, with his little tendrils on. There we go. Very, very scary. I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, very undecided. The They both have really good elements to them. So I may not be able to pick a favorite. But I think LEGO did a good job here. I just wish they would have included the arm printing. Alright, so here are the new web... Uh, I don't even know what to call them. Web? They're like the power bursts but they're webs so web bursts so uh, it's kind of hard to see right here hopefully they don't blend in too well to start we have this we have two of these actually kind of a web spray like just coming out starting to turn into a net kind of thing there's a connection point here on the end and then there's a connection point back here very nice there's this big web, which has a like a connection point, like a bar here, here, and then back here. So you can kind of you could build this onto a set, kind of. You can clip it on there and kind of turn it into a spider trampoline or something. So that's another really useful and very cool piece. This is like your classic web. It's the perfect size, perfect shape. Has a connection point on the back, so you can. Kind of, you could use this in like haunted house mocks, stick it in the corner, or you can just have Spider Man, you know, shooting it out, stuff like that. So that's cool. And then we have these web stream pieces, which look like very much like the classic uh, comic book, you know, web streams, which are very thick. Um, so that's very cool. Very, very cool. And then we have these two small web pieces with. A little bar on either side and then they actually have this little hole in here I'm not sure what that's for I don't know you might be able to stick like a flame piece in there but yeah they're kind of like radar dishes 
in shape so you can have them like sticking to something this way or shooting out at something which is cool and then we have the web cuffs which kind of are lumps of web that get wrapped around a person's hand you clip it on one side uh, and then it just kind of sticks on there I was a little bit surprised that there was only a bar to clip on on one side but it actually works so that's cool these are great pieces they come in like when you first open the set they have they come in their own little baggie and they're really useful you can do all kinds of stuff with these and the set comes with some support pieces so you have this you know like the this little piece with the handle and then you can stick this on there so it's shooting out and then you can make one of the figures hold it so that's cool and then they come with some more pieces like this it's like a, a cone with a another piece on the end you can stick it like that and then you can say take that and then you got a web configuration and there's a lot of uh, possibilities here there's a lot of combinations so these will be a lot of fun to play around with yeah I'm, I'm really happy with these I'm glad Lego is expanding to these accessory packs so far they've all been really great except for like the bat accessory pack which was just weird so moving on to the first of the builds here is like a I don't know they in the description it's a power generator that Carnage is attacking. These little white pieces here are meant for you to attach some of these small web pieces to to kind of make it look like um, the spider people you know, shot some webs at the generator to hold it together to keep Carnage from like blowing it up. I think it has a nice look. It's pretty cool. And you can easily just hinge them out of the way, or you can just unclip them all together. The build is pretty simple, but I think it works. I've, I'm a fan of when sets come with a little bit of a location. Kind of adds a little bit um, to the play value. Just some lights, some computer screens. These are stickers. That's all, these are all stickers, except for these, actually. These yellow pieces are printed which was a pleasant surprise and these are clear backed stickers so just be aware of that it doesn't look as great from around the back because there's like the exposed green the uh, I don't know what that color is but it's a really cool color it's like a dark greenish blue um, and then there's the red so that's not too great from the back but you can see here's the trigger for that these pieces kind of come out and you can just blow them up but if you have the webs in the way it'll kind of keep some of them in there there we go and then in here is actually some cool shiny like tilted vent pieces which is nice to get i haven't seen those in too many sets so yeah i actually think this is a good addition to the set it doesn't feel like it was slapped together just to raise the price and it adds some good play value to the whole set. So here is the main build of the whole set. I mean, obviously, the set is called Spider-Man Bike Rescue. Which actually confuses me. Like, there's no rescuing going on. Not really. Both spider heroes are attacking Carnage. There's not really any rescuing. But this bike is so ridiculously oversized. It's nuts look at that so tiny but it's a very nice design it rolls very well and you know it can tilt back and forth so for kids wanting to just play with the set this is great for adults who want to display it maybe less so because it's so oversized but i think it's a lot of fun it's it was fun to build for sure uh you can see this is kind of an interesting build technique. It's on a hinge, so it gives that curved look. On either side, there's kind of this little pod that sticks out. This one is a spider drone launcher. That fires off. That is the piece. It was introduced in the 
last Nexonites wave, and they're now repurposing it for a spider drone, which is cool. I wish they would have recolored it to red, because that would have been more Spider-Man-like, I think. Would have matched kind of the new like Spider-Man PS4 spider drone look. But for what it is, it's pretty cool. The other side here is for attaching some of the new web pieces, like that. Which, why Spider-Man needs a bike with a web cannon doesn't really make sense to me, but it looks cool, and I imagine kids will have a lot of fun, you know, having the bike swoop in and shoot some webs. Those are on a hand, so you can move them up and down. Uh, let's see. Pretty nice Spider-Man, like, symbol sticker up there. It's very tech-looking. I like the studs on the side construction here. So overall, that's a that's a nice build, but it's very oversized. There's how Spidey fits on the bike, and you can kind of mess around with that. And I think you can have him sitting, you can have him fully standing. So there's a bunch of different options. But that default way to put him on there is kind of weird. He kind of looks like he's floating or something. So there you have it. That is the Spider-Man Bike Rescue. A good solid set with some great minifigures, an amazing spread of accessories, and some pretty decent builds. The updates on Miles and Spider-Man are great, especially the Spider-Man. It's so perfect. And a great update, and we finally can move away from having hundreds of this guy. The Carnage figure, again, I'm kind of undecided about him. I really like the way the tendril the tendril pack is, and I like the head update, but the lack of arm printing is kind of disappointing. The Spider Bike, while it is oversized, it's a lot of fun, you know, just to roll around. It rolls really nicely. And the generator is a really good build, you know, adds to the play value. And these web accessories are amazing. They're, they have so much potential. Yeah, definitely recommend it. It's one of the lower uh, price sets. I believe this is the $20 set for this wave. So if you can, if you come across it, I'd say pick it up. It's definitely worth it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And drop a comment down below which of the new Spider-Man figures are your favorite and what you think about the Carnage update. I'll see you next time.